Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to dismantle this Ilford Color uh, single-use camera. For those of you who want to know, the question we're going to ask is what's inside of it film-wise. For those of you who just want to know, it is this film right here, and it is a CN400, which is color negative 400, 27 exposure. No markings on this whatsoever except for the barcode. And the barcode number is 115587. I have all of them memorized, so I know that this is uh, Ferrania Solaris 400. I don't have them memorized. I had to look that up. Um, so there's a couple of possibilities here. Ferrania Solaris went out of production some time ago. So this is either old stock that was kept in very cold storage for a long time, or this is an old cassette that's being reused uh, or used for the first time after having been in storage for a long time. Or this is uh, the color production batch that Ferrania made before, I think Ferrania is a no longer a going concern, the, 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 re, the revi um, revival of it. Could be wrong, if I'm wrong, someone will correct me. But it could be that this is that color film made by them. I have no idea, because I haven't gotten this developed yet. I bought three of these cameras, I'll send all three of these in when they're shot, and we will find out um, when I get those back in a separate video, whether or not this is actually Ferrania, or if the edge text on this cassette says something else. In addition, we're going to get a AAA battery, a single-use AAA battery, and we're also going to get the flashboard out of this. All right, the flashboard itself isn't super interesting. It's just got a 330, capa 330 volt capacitor on it. Uh, probably, if you're into electronics, could do some stuff with it. It also you can see how the flash works here. When you hold, when this slide flips out, it stays out, and that pushes this button down, this this contact down, so that it makes a connection which transfers power from the battery to the capacitor to discharge the flash when the flash is actually used. Uh, first thing we got to do here is advance the film the whole way. If you've used this, in, one thing you can do with these, if you are using them, when you send in a disposable, a single-use camera to a lab, they usually charge you a few bucks extra versus just a roll of 35 millimeter. If you want to save yourself some money, you can um, just take out the 35 millimeter cassette before you send it in, and that will save you a few bucks. So this is how we're going to do that. If you were of the mind that you wanted to simply harvest the film out of here to use in a better camera, you can do that the same way. Uh, it's, I don't think, the best use of money, but your call. We're going to cover up the lens because I don't want any light recorded on this film. So I'm just going to use a nickel because it's sitting here. We're going to tape that on so that no light can get into the lens. Okay. Next, I'm going to hold down the shutter button. Okay. So I just shot through this whole thing. I just felt the end of the leader come off of the spool. Okay, so here's the end of the leader in the one that I harvested previously. Uh, this, these have been spooled up for a while. Look at how much curl there is on this thing. It was really hard to retrieve this with the leader, with my leader retriever. Uh, I just got, ended up getting really lucky with doing that, so I'm not going to fully rewind this again if I can avoid it. We can take this stuff off. Now to get into the camera, we're just going to peel up the sticker, or if it doesn't want, it should want to go. This is how it's supposed to come off. The um, I did have some problems with the uh, the stickers on these on the other Ilford that I disassembled. It did not want to come off, which is kind of a pain. But you can see here, if you're just going to harvest the film, here's how you do it the AGFAs. There we go. Okay. And it is going to make me rewind it the whole way, isn't it? Yes, it is.
There we go. Well, I'll retrieve that later. And if you are getting multiple of these and you want to keep them straight, there we go. Okay, now that we got the film out of here, let's work on the battery. Like I said, these uh, stickers don't like coming up like the ones on the other cameras. But here we go. Got our AAA battery. These aren't great batteries, but you can put them in your remote or your mouse, your keyboard, whatever, and they work pretty well in those. Next, on the sides, if you want to keep taking this apart, on the sides we're going to have to pry up here. Some of the things we need to get at are covered by these stickers because this is not something that's recommended and I don't recommend doing this yourself uh, unless you are comfortable around things that can give you very unpleasant shocks like the capacitors in these cameras. So let me just stress, don't, don't actually do this. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, one other thing we get out of this is a little tiny plastic lens that you can do some experimentation with. And now that I have two of them, I can start making a compound lens. That will be neat. Okay. So we've got the lens. If you want to keep the aperture, that can just pry off as well. And now you get an interesting view of the shutter mechanism here. Let's turn that around for you. And here you can see the shutter mechanism, just like that really simple guillotine shutter that triggers when you uh, uh, fire it. Now, if you are concerned about the capacitor, I believe you can short it out this way, like that. Don't do that if you're touching the metal. Only do that. Don't do that at all. Really don't take these things apart. It's not safe. And then you can see here we've got the capacitor itself, or the uh, flashboard rather. It just pops right out. And if you have any need for the capacitor or any of these components, you can harvest it just like that. These are pretty, uh, pretty basic cameras. And uh, these ones, unlike the Agfa ones, which we'll take a look at in a separate video, the Agfa ones can be reused a little bit more easily. These ones are not meant to be reused. Uh, in fact, if there is a way to reuse them, I am unaware of it. So time to put this guy in the recycle bin. Yes, we're going to call it the recycle bin. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next video.